Medical coding is one of the interesting careers to explore this 2023. But the question is, how can you start your journey in becoming a medical coder? We will find out those things right here, right now. I am the Medical Coding Guy. Before we start, please hit that like and subscribe button for more updates about medical coding. Becoming a medical coder is quite easy and we only have 4 steps to do that. APC is the organization that provides medical coding certifications. They also provide the training that you will need for your journey. First step is you have to study medical anatomy and terminology. If you have a medical background, that will give you an added advantage for this course because you don't have to start all over again. Then after that, learn the basics of healthcare insurance and business of medicine since you will not only deal with medical documentation but also the rules of hospital, insurance companies, and healthcare entities. Second is learning the medical coding itself. We have various classification that you need to understand like the outpatient and inpatient coding and also risk adjustment coding. But the main focus is for you to get the CPC certification which focuses more on the outpatient coding which is going to be your ICD, TAN-CM and your CPT and HCPCS level 2 coding. The third step is to prepare and take the certification that you wish to take. But again, I highly suggest take the CPC certification. It's a great way to get in the medical field without having to spend thousands of dollars on a degree and years of going to school if in case you want to enroll for a health information management course. If you get in the field and let's say you want to get more certifications, you can always do that. The fourth and final step is for you to land that first medical coding job. So you have to network with other medical coders. You have to connect to social media platforms like LinkedIn or Facebook. Join various groups from those sites as well. Keep on applying to job hiring opportunities, especially for those entry-level positions. And even if you think that you don't meet those requirements for some openings, try it at least. Who knows? Maybe the interviewer will see your potential. You can also apply as a part-time coder and work as an intern. This can really give you a boost of learning and also gives you more potential to have various specialties. And that's it for today guys. Thanks for listening. Hit that like and subscribe button for more updates about medical coding. And always remember, without knowledge, there is no power. Have a nice day guys. So long. See you next time.